Holy salute, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is just a thought that just came to my mind. Uh, now people say, pray for the sinner, man. Pray for the sinner to get saved. And that's true. But while you're praying for those that persecute the church, pray for the persecuted church. Because I'm fading, and I'm fading fast. And I know why. It's because the devil don't want me to succeed. The spirit of Antichrist is growing. We are living in the last days, and we're hanging on by thread. And by the grace of God, we're still hanging on. You see, if the gifts of God are not in operation, then you have a weak, feeble church. That's exactly what Satan wants. He attacks people who are spirit-led, spirit-filled, have gifts, and full of the power of the Holy Ghost. He's not going to attack people so much as being disobedient and not answering calls and just sitting on pews. So while you're praying for the sinner, remember to pray for pastors and those who teach and preach as well. And we all, we pray for everybody. Every believer, every minister, the atheist, the Islamist, the persecutor, the persecuted, those that love us, those that hate us, makes no difference. But the more you put out, the more you have to put in. And if you're not putting any in, then your tank is going to run empty. God bless you. Holy salute. Yes, I pray that the Lord comes quickly, lest I fall away. And just be religious and empty and dried up and in a famine. Help us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Time is at hand.